Hi, welcome to this video where I would like to show you how the better together over Ethernet uh, works in combination with a Polycom device. And this is really the easiest method. Uh, also, if you want to connect it to uh, Office 365, Skype for Business Online, I think this is really the easiest to do. So what do you do first? You have to connect the LAN side into your network and the PC port into your PC. Because the pairing with the Better Together app will combine this with the usage of connecting your PC to this port. So this is a requirement today for the Better Together over Ethernet. So when the phone is uh, properly connected, as uh, stated in my uh, previous section, you need to go to your PC. So on the PC, you go to support.polycom.com and then you see on the right, you see documents and downloads. You go there to voice, select the phone you have, so, for example, VVX 500, click on go. So now you will get a listing of all the documents available for this phone. Including, if you go down a bit, you will see and find here the Better Together over Ethernet apps here. Here you go. So look regular here. So there could be updates to the Better Together app. So you download the app here. You install it, 32 or the 64 bit uh, version. And then after you install it, you will have an icon here on the screen. So you start the app, it will be available here in your uh, tray. So you can also right click it and see the status the version okay now you go to the phone and what makes life so easy is as soon as both devices recognize each other through the PC port you will get a second option here paired link client so if I click that it will automatically ask now to enter login information on the PC so you go back to the PC and now you will have a login screen here and this is the login screen from the phone so what you do here type in the credentials and what will happen the phone will get these credentials over this app and within a few seconds you got your phone going so now it automatically logs in. Okay, so what you can do is you can walk yourself through some time zone settings if needed. That is easy when you send it to remote locations in different time zones. So you say next, 24 hour, the date and the time view, and you're done. And you got here your favorites directly showing on the screen and these favorites which we see here are exact the same favorites you see here in your link client or skype for business client so thank you for watching this video uh, hopefully this was uh, was helpful to get yourself going with the vvx and this could be any model in an Office 365 environment, Skype for Business Online, or an on-premise link server. Thank you.